Hello everyone. Welcome to Phoenix Rising. This is Red Tyranno here. And I just picked this game up uh, last night actually and I've been watching a few let's plays of it. Um, but I actually wanted to play for it myself. I heard the frame rate is really bad, or at least for what I know. And if you guys hear clicking in the background, um, it'll be my controller because I'm using a controller. Because uh, it has integrated controller function, so. Uh, without further ado, let's get into it. So, I believe Nuzlocke mode is, yep, not available for this version. So, we'll just go with new game. <coughs> Excuse me. The game you are about to play is a fan-made Pokemon creation. It is created by a group of part-time, volunteer, non-professional game developers and artists. This game is free and always will be. We accept no money. We just love Pokemon and creating unique experiences. Cool. Good morning. I have some last minute, minute documents I need you to complete for Trinita University. I'm still used as a mouthpiece for school since I completed my studies there all these years ago. First, they need you to create an avatar. Just create one that best expresses your personal style. I am a boy, so I'm going to go with the boy one. Great, that should be do fine. Next, I need you to input your name here. We are not that. We are Red Tyranno, but I think for short, at least in this Let's Play, we're going to do... We're going to say Red. That works for me. Thank you for indulging me, Red. I bet you're looking forward to your adventure. Be sure to stop by my lab before you skip town. I have something you want to see. Ciao. Presenting a fan-made project. I like this little... I don't know what you call it. Sweep in? Phoenix Rising. So yeah, I'm kind of excited uh, now that it's summer and I'm away from college, I can start recording again. Hopefully, within the next couple weeks, I'm really hoping t tomorrow, actually, to record uh, Pokemon Uranium. I'm going to do a Uranium Let's Play. Uh, for those of you who are still subscribers, uh... Just a quick note, if you haven't caught any of my discussion posts or anything, or any of my Twitter posts, uh, I have changed my name from MoneyLord98, because it's just an outdated version of what I use, to Red Tyranno, because I have red hair and I love dinosaurs, so why not? And so that's my username from now on, just so you guys know, cause, so it's not a huge shock to the system. Anyway... Have I ever told you why I live in the Hawthorne Woods, Red? Most assume I think that for I longed that I longed for a natural setting, to be one with nature. Certainly the Pokemon here are kind, and the flora is magnificent, yes. Even admit admit my cooking was greatly improved since I began my hermitage. But I, I would not live away from society for a pretty view. That would be silly. No, I live here because I find it pure. Out here, I'm able to reflect on my life and to think more clearly than I ever have. When I was your age, finding a thinking place was very simple, a quiet place. That's not so true anymore, yes? Now the world is very, very complicated. This is good to keep, your, keep in mind. Find a quiet spot to call your own. Think there. Allow yourself the time to think on your life, your circumstances. For you see, Red, it is one, one thinks that one realizes. Not all is right in the world. Oh, what a windbag I am. Come, let us have our tea before you depart. Ooh, I like the little quest, new quest, a, les a lesson in destiny. I can access it with X. You can access your journal containing your current quest there.
Oh, cool. So how do I move then? Yep. Okay. Ah. Okay. So for those of you using controllers to play this game, B is your like menu screen thing. So we can check our journal. Lesson in Destiny. Cool. And it shows it there. So I have to go talk to the Seuss there, which I believe is the guy we just talked to. So let me check my options. Uh, normal difficulty is good enough for me anyway. I might have to turn down that volume actually now that I look at it. if that changed anything but hopefully you can hear me louder this time okay so we're gonna go well after I quit fumbling here oh no running shoes Ugh. oh well there you go I don't know what Z is I think it's that yeah it's right trigger okay Trainer tips, you can arrange your items in the bag by holding down the confirm button while using directional keys. Cool. Let's get some berries. Two Pecha berries. Two cherry berries. Two orange berries. Cool. The old man. Come, come, I have a lovely tin of biscuits for you to try. Come, come. Maybe I'll try doing some voices. We'll see. He doesn't even know what a TM is. That's funny. Uh, sometimes I just won't read some of the stuff on there. I just figure that you guys who are following along. Trader tips berries can be found in different varieties, each type has a different effect. Berries can be given to Pokemon to hold, and they can use them in battle if they need them. Alternatively, you can give a berry to a Pokemon or inside, outside battle. Well, so far the frame scripts aren't so bad. Let's go talk to the Soothsayer. Cool. Quest complete. Red, I'm so glad you decided to come over for one last time. It warms an old man's heart, truly. And on such a momentous day, off to Trinita University. And you're receiving your first Pokemon, yes? I'll turn on the kettle, Red. Are you nervous about the events to come? You're in capable hands. I'm sure that the good doctor will give you, you the best of the lot. You know, Professor Lotus met with me before her, her own journey to your school. Wow. Trinita, or Trinita, Trinita University surely snaps up the best talents of the Hawth Hawthorne region. To both of you, the prides of our little nocturne town, although it's, although it's not a different situation, what with uh, your father and all? <laughs> Where is it? I'm sure you're excited to see him after so many years apart, and your mother is doing well. Sad to see you go. How perplexing. She always, she's always been a hearty, your mother. Never fazed by a thing. But to have her own child about to depart from her home must be trying. Why, when my own child took their leave from me, I... I have some bad news, Red. I think perhaps there is a possibility I'm out of tea. Oh, I'm embarrassed. I'm going dotty. Didn't even check my own stores. You know what? I imagine your mother has tea. Your father was a tea fanatic. Although I feel terrible asking this, could you run home and check with her? Without fail, a good cup of tea will calm your anxieties before this journey. 
You'll run over there, yes? You will? Wonderful. I'll be here waiting for your return. And so we gotta go get tea for mom. Tea for mommy. And I guess we gotta go visit the lab. They didn't bring that up at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. You're out of tea. Oh, a female and a male need her in. Cool. Oh, she's not very happy at us. Or he's not very happy at us. Excuse me. Hello? Oh. Wrong key again. Uh, is this our house? That's Professor Lotus. Well, let's go check it out. Why not? We gotta check it out. Hi there, Red. Are you looking for Professor Lotus? I haven't seen her this morning. I've seen her since this morning. Have you checked your lab? If not, she's probably something. Uh, why don't you ask Tim where she is? And the suit smith Sarah might know too. Let's be nosy and look upstairs. Nothing but books. Professor. Wow. What a bookworm. What a bookworm. Is there any trash? Aw. <laughs> hey, stuff. <laughs> What you got? Hey, Red. Nice to see you. I remember when you were yay high. Most everyone in Nocturne Town is getting on in age. Not much is different here from when I was a young girl. Like the age or like everything? Because that's kind of off topic. <gasps> Let's talk to her. I used to live in Solid Temple Town, which is a really exciting place to live. After a while, though, I couldn't take the urban life anymore, so I came here. There are a lot of old people here. It's quite... It's real... It's quiet. Not quite. It's quiet. Really quiet. Wow, these people. They don't have anything for me? I'm a greedy little trainer, but still. Welcome to Nocturne Town. That is the town name. My husband often takes walks around town. I suppose it could be re relaxing, but nothing has ever changed here. Wow. Hold on. We are so lucky to have a Pokemon professor like Professor Lotus. In some ways, she is just really... Wow. I cannot read today. In some ways, she was really put... <sighs> she has really put Nocturne Town on the map. Her intellect is incredible. She might be the smartest person in the region. There we go. After fumbling and mumbling. And whose house is this? Probably ours. Eve's house. Well, my name's not Eve, but maybe that's our mom's name. Oh, Red, you're home early. Have you finished already? Normally, the soothsayer can talk me into the ground, the sweet old man. He doesn't have any tea. He didn't check before he invited you over for tea? Well, regardless, he needs tea bags, but I'm not sure we have any ourselves. Yeah, it must be our mom. He really needs to be more responsible living all alone out there. We both know it's not the first time that something like has happened like this. Perhaps he could grow his own tea surrounded by all the forest. Not that I don't sympathize with this choice. It's beautiful in those woods. <clears throat> well, look at that. Tea bags. Not much, but it should be fine. For our, your purposes. You know, I had this crazy thought that your father took all his tea with him. Maybe not so crazy, if you remember. He did cart away that broken radio. You think he still has it? Neither of us have ever seen his place. There. I'm sure you'll see evidence of this tea addiction at the bachelor pad and you'll have to tell him me if he does he always he was always terrible about that here let me put those in your bag for you you'll lose them otherwise oh cool it looks like a little snow runt underneath there you are in the key items pouch open the menu and you'll see it there now don't spend too much time on this tea business you couldn't be late 
You cannot be late. Professor Lotus is always so busy, and she's doing you and your father a favor. If you dilly dally, you'll end up with one of my hand me down Pokemon as your first. In fact, if we're being uh, considerate, we should stop by the lab and check in. Cool. Yeah, I got the tea bags. Yep, and now we gotta bring him to the soothsayer. I think that's where the lab quest should pop up. I, I don't know if that's a mistake or not, but. Got a potion. Or potion. Sometimes they'll say it like that. <laughs> Your dad is a gamer. Cool. Let's go check up here. Ooh, here we go. All the frame drops. Ooh. Well, Hawthorne region has many fascinating myths and stories. Professor Lotus, our native daughter, is a preeminent mythologist. She is often asked to discuss her work on television specials and whatnot. I know the myths, of course. I watch the specials to see Professor Lotus. Uh, dude, she's probably married. I don't know. It's kind of weird to say that. Uh, oh, Red, you're leaving for Trinity University today? You'll travel through Tranquilo Town to get there. Nice and simple. Not too different from us, really. It's a quick walk through Route 1. Is it Tranquilo or Tranquillo? Like, you know, Spanish. Two cherry berries. Yes, please. Two more. Two more. Oh my god. Let's talk to this dude. Ah! Ho there! You see this map here? It's used for something called fast travel. I'm not sure how it works, but if you interact with it and choose where you want to go, you'll be taken there in an instant. You can only f f travel fast travel to areas you've already been to, however. Me, I prefer to walk. Ding, ding, ding. That's that's a little music note. Ding, ding. Cool. Let's check it out. <gasps> can we fast travel in Hawthorne Woods? Oh, what's that? Fast travel pack. Oh, that must be an item or something. Hmm. I keep hitting the wrong button. Well, let's go give tea to the, the soothsayer, the old man. I think we've talked to everybody, yeah, because this is back at our house. I love the graphics, though. That's probably one of the best things out of this whole thing is the graphics. So let's go talk to him. Oh, where'd he go? Huh, <laughs> broken floor. <laughs> oh, let's not fall. Oh, Red, you returned, I'm glad. Did you hear very much of that when you entered the room? I know you've witnessed me experiencing the visions before, yes? The premonition that passed was very powerful. I feel sapped of energy, glimpses of death, darkness. Rabid flames engulfing Nocturne Town. Such an ill-omened Ill vision is rare, but one cannot succumb to hysteria. To fixate on the end of the world, it would be, it would make it possible to fully live one's life. Or it wouldn't make it possible. Let us drink. Tea is the fine remedy for such stresses. To you, Red, and your future travels. May you find success everlasting. Because I forgot that he talks like this. This was very nice, Red. Thank you. I feel very completely refreshed. Wow, words. And be sure to thank your mother for me again. It was good tea, yes? Now, a final piece of evidence. Should you ever question your path? Please return here. I shall put you on a kettle and perhaps... I shall put you on a kettle. No, I shall put on a kettle, and perhaps a vision will grace me. But surely, together we can help. Together we can help you ascertain your next step. Keep your up your studies, train your Pokemon well, and I'm sure I shall see you soon. And so we talk to the soothsayer. There he goes. Bye bye. Ugh. Me being a noob.
So now we gotta go to the lab where all the Pokemon are at. Pokemon. Blah, blah. But yeah. Um, oof. It's getting rough. It'll be okay. Can we sneak behind here? Aw. Thought maybe I was smart. Um, who is that? Must be Tim. Red, uh, hi. I'll give him a little, like, berry, you know, fortune, kind of like. You're here, really? Professor Lotus said you would be here, or you would be here way later than this. Oh, you remember me? I'm Tim. We met, like, twice? No, it's no big deal. Uh, welcome. You're here for your first Pokemon, you're right? That's so exciting. We've been getting them f ready forever. Should we wait for Professor Lotus? She said she wanted to be here for this, but I haven't heard from her since. Some kind of errand. She took her to, out to the Tranquilo or Tranqu <sighs> Tranquilo Town <laughs> earlier today. Field work has never been my scene, so Lo uh, Lotus let me. Wow. I apologize in advance for all of this. Field work has never been my scene, so Lotus let me here to babysit. It's so funny that Lotus that <laughs> Lotus does that stuff all the time. She's a hero, sort of. Well, we actually know her in person, you know. We got to see her, the real her. Yeah. Um, I'm stalling. Really, I just don't know when she's getting back. You're not here. You're not that early. Maybe she's the one late one as if I bet you're dying to see them huh the Pokemon they're super cute well maybe I can let you look at them oh, yes please yes before she gets here a sneak peek aha <laughs> that would be okay right I'm not so I'm not you super protocol yeah it'll be fine come on let's go look go take a look at it yeah let's go yeah <laughs> That's what he sounds like. Yay. So, this is Petalo, the ball Pokemon. Cute, right? Really pretty. A grass type. There are female-only species, and they love soil, and it's that's rich in nutrients. You can eat their leaves. You'll get If you eat their leaves, they'll give you a little energy boost. Of course, I've never tried one. Okay, moving on. This is Growlithe, the puppy Pokemon. Don't you love their hair? That shaggy mane, they're a fire type. Growlithe are domesticated Pokemon and they really get attached to you. Apparently they can smell your emotions. Weird, right? Super noses. Okay, last one. You excited? I'm trying to talk as fast as I can with this guy, but it seems to not work very well. The star you, my personal favorite. Aren't they cool? I love water types. They're the star shaped Pokemon because they're superstars. Haha, -ha, I get it. So funny. Plus, they're able to physically regrow their limbs, which is, like, insane. <laughs> oh, sh I shouldn't have done this now. Now you really want one, huh? Look, why don't you just go ahead and pick one? The professor is going to give you one eventually, right? I'll tell her later. And I know how exciting it is on your own first Pokemon. <laughs> Getting your own first Pokemon. I'll be waiting at the front of the lab, so let me know when you're decided. No, good luck, no pressure. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Soft reset with F12. Sometimes you might want to reset the game and reload your save file. Maybe to remember to save first or you'll lose progress. New tutorial has been added. Cool. So we got Petalil, which is Gen 5. Growlithe, which is Gen 1. Fire. Petalil's Grasp. And Staryu, which is Gen 1. And is a water Pokemon. Oh, cool. The door goes down when you're stepping. <gasps> oh, <laughs> I can tell there's like a event there because you have to wait for it to go back up. Okay, well, I'm trying to keep these episodes around 20 minutes, but it looks like I'm around 25 this time. So, uh, not to be a huge dork, but I think it's cliffhanger time. So, what you guys think, write down in the comments whether it's going to be Petalil, Growlithe, or Staryu. Which one I'm going to choose. Uh, I mean, there's a clearly quote-unquote logical way to go. But, uh, well, I'm going to stop right here. We're going to save. If I can find the save button. 
Ah. And until next time, I'll see you in the next one.